What's going on, everybody? This is Master Slam with Progressive Taekwondo Academy, and welcome to Tap In Tuesday. Hope you guys are doing well. It's, it's been a nice couple of days here in North Carolina. Uh, we had our Healthy Kids Running Series on Sunday. Beautiful weather for a run. If you guys, it's, not, it's still not too late to join. Come on out there, join us, Healthy Kids Run. The links are everywhere. Google it. But October is also known as Bully Prevention Month. And it's funny, a couple of weeks ago, uh, my son said he was, was uh, being bullied on the bus. Well, actually his mom called and told me that uh, he had a little bit of trouble on the bus. And you know, I'm Master Salim, but I'm also, daddy right daddy as well and so at first i i i wanted to know i'm like you never want your kid to get uh bullied because you never know what that means or 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 what happened or what was what was going on at the time of the moment um where they where they felt like somebody was picking on them or they were put in a, a situation where multiple people were um, picking on them or, or making fun of them or or cast them away, not letting them play. You never, you never know what's happening. So, you know, uh, daddy was like, well, what did you do? Right. And, and so sometimes I let mom handle those things because, you know, they're softer. They're able to talk to him. And right now he's at an age where he enjoys uh, talking to mom a little bit more than he does talking to dad. And, and I understand that, and, and I was the same way, and that's totally fine. But um, when I did have an opportunity to talk to him, right, the, the one thing that I reminded him is that you, you just have to be confident in yourself. You have to be confident about who you are, and you have to ignore certain things in that moment and i do a lot of bully prevention seminars if you guys need me to come talk to your staff counselors uh youth give me a call shoot me an email and i'll come over and i'll talk to you guys but really when i when i do a, a bully prevention seminar or when i talk to my students and bully proof them because even though october is bully prevention month you really can't prevent bullying right you can sort of control the environment and hope that all the kids are getting along but kids are going to be kids and and sometimes they can't help to pick on each other or to or to make fun of each other but you just have to make sure that uh they're they're supervised so that things don't get out of control and that you're there to correct your behavior but for me when i talk to my kids about really bully proofing themselves i focus on three things Right. The first thing is teaching them how to control their emotions. Right. I go over deep breathing exercises with my kids all the time, um, helping them, teaching them how to self-regulate themselves so that if you find yourself in a situation, whether you're nervous uh, due to somebody being bullied on you, whether it's uh, you're afraid or you're angry. Right that you're, you're thinking with a clear mind and you're really in control of your body and in control of your reaction. The second thing that I do is, right, when we're in class and we're looking in the mirrors, always have my students look at themselves, right, and, and tell me what they see. How is their posture? Are they standing up tall, right? Do they look confident? Are their shoulders drooped over? Is their head and eyes down? Because bullies uh, like to target people that don't look confident, right? Someone that they don't think is going to um, stand up to them. And so how you look and how you carry yourself is important. And so a lot of times we use the mirrors to, to kick at, and, and a lot of times we watch ourselves but we don't really see ourselves 
And so I, I, I have the kids take a look and, and do a little self-assessment and, and see how they appear to themselves in the mirror. And the third thing is, right, not your tone, right? We talked about verbally um, communicating non-verbally with our posture standing up tall, but also how we verbally communicate ourselves is important as well. What's your tone like? Are you being assertive when you're saying it? Or, or are you, are you emotional and you're, you're yelling or crying at the same time? You're telling somebody to stop or leave you alone. Are you, um, on the other end of the, the, the scale where you're being super aggressive and, and you're yelling and you're angry, telling someone to stop and leave you alone. And so practice them using their tone and speaking out loud. And we do that, uh, several ways with them being able to key up, right? Use it. Real loud, right? Turn your volume down, right? Making sure it's nice and strong and believable, right? They have to believe it, and that's where the practice comes in. That's where the repetition comes in, and that's where the consistency of them training really comes in to help bullyproof themselves, where they learn to believe in themselves and and learn to really see themselves and change how other people see them, and in turn they're able to bully proof themselves. And um, the the last thing I say there was three things, but the fourth thing is, right, I'm, I'm still dad too. Right. I have to make them semi-dangerous, right? I, I know um, a lot of people saying, oh no, we don't wanna, we don't wanna be aggressive, but I have to equip my students and especially my, my sons with the tools to protect themselves and, and the awareness of how to manage and, and control situations. Because a lot of times um, just removing ourselves from a situation can be tough for kids because they want to be playing with kids. They want to be liked by kids and, and having the ability to stand up and walk away and and, and remove yourself from a situation or or stop being friends with someone who isn't a good friend to you can be tough as well because everyone wants to have friends and everyone wants to be liked, especially as youth when you go to school and you see each other every day. And so this is Master Salim with Progressive Taekwondo Academy telling you to peace out, tap in, and remember you can bullyproof yourself by standing up tall, speaking confidently, controlling your emotions, and also loving yourself, right? If you really love yourself, if you love the person you are, it doesn't matter what anybody thinks. It doesn't matter what anybody says. So love yourself. This is Master Salim. Peace out. Tap in. I'm back to training.